In this episode, we talk about the song Fourfold Hallelujah. It's track number seven from The Bride, The Journey, The Union. Here we see the bride company marching into Revelation 19 and joining in celebrating the fall of Babylon as she makes herself ready for the marriage of the Lamb. Welcome to From the Coming Kingdom, messages from the Father's heart. Welcome everyone to this episode and Greg, thank you for being here. It looks like we are marching into the wedding supper. We've come about halfway through this journey and uh, we're talking about the bride of Christ, of course, growing toward maturity and we're so limited here with only 10 tracks that we couldn't address many of the the lessons that must be learned in, in growing unto maturity when you're walking on the journey with our Lord. But we, we touched on a few. We went The last one that we talked about was uh, uh, learning about, well, we learned about the two men, and then we, we did the uh, uh, Until Life Do Us Part. So here we see the bride company. Let's call her the bride company because she is many, and uh, there are other names that we could uh, call this group of people. In this case, we're talking about a female representation of a great group of people that <clears throat> follow the Lamb wherever He goes. And uh, they've come off victorious against many of their enemies, and they're now marching toward the wedding supper, and they've made it through Revelation chapter 18. And that's where we see the Father bring the judgment and the destruction of Babylon. And so in the beginning of chapter 19, what we see in the scriptures is the, what they call the fourfold hallelujah. And this is where all the heavenly hosts join together and they sing and they shout together four, four times, hallelujah for Babylon is fallen. And on the last of the four, the earthly host, the bride company uh, who are being gathered together uh, join in. And that's what this song is all about. I woke one morning hearing this and it was unusual. This is one of my sunken songs. <laughs> sunken? You know, I've probably said that before, but to me it's partly spoken and partly sung. Oh, yeah. So it's a sunken song. But anyway, the verse, the verse is the. It's a very unique style of yours. It, it is. I like it. It just happens, and so I woke up. Well, you've got this great voice for talking anyway. <laughs> it's just, about, uh, you should be narrating movies and stuff. <laughs> Those that came, you know, because he has the words of life, and they come from all the four winds. And it describes the, the bride company coming, and uh, then the choruses where they sing together, you know, the, with the voice of the multitude as the mighty peals of thunder do sound. The fourfold hallelujah resounds. I think we did a fairly good job of representing the, the feel of the thing. We got the drummer at the front, it's kind of walking. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's just got the nice marching drum thing in the beginning, and but then escalating all the way up to the course where we got the, the mighty peals of thunder, and we got some nice extra tom drums. It's really, really... Uh, Bringing the thunder. Yeah. yeah. There was some thunder there. Yeah. And got my nephew Dan to, to play flute with the, the melody of Amazing Grace on the front end, sort of leading the multitude to the wedding supper. <clears throat> and that's what it's all about. And, and the thing that was pretty amazing to me, which was unrehearsed and unplanned, was at the end, what we call the Hallelujah Jam. And that's where the band just takes off and soars, and we in turn follow with uh, overlapping, overlaid vocals that uh, become a real worship session. It's a beautiful moment in the song, and it's very anointed. Yeah, it, <laughs> if I, it brought tears the first time I ever heard it happen, and Greg, I, was, I was amazed. I don't know if you remember this, but when, when we were in the studio recording your vocals, You'd sang the whole song, and then we're trying to talk about how we're going to do this ending over this this worship section. You went in there, and you sang that in one pass. You sang your main part. That was it. You didn't go in and do it again. You didn't try it three or four times. 
that was and it was just anointed i was sitting in here in the studio and i just got chills on me and i've started like i raised my hands i'm like i was like praising god i knew that was it well it, it was a worship time and, and that's <clears throat> that's the way it came out and there was no reason to fix it if it's not broke man it was so good <laughs> it is so good so there, there the the final word is they're celebrating the destruction and the judgment of babylon and the scripture says a very important thing there as they are ready the and the next step to enter into the marriage supper with the lamb it says that they were given the the bride was given uh it might be good to even read the way it states it but it was given unto her to put on the white garments and um is that in revelation 19 revelation 19 let me read seven and eight it says let us be glad and rejoice this is after the fourfold hallelujah and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife has made herself ready and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen clean and white for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints the literal translation of that is the righteous acts of the saints and of course we know the only way we can have any kind of a righteous act is to <laughs> be walking in the spirit yeah um, so it was given to her to be properly clothed to be able to enter into the wedding supper and that's what we're going to see in the, this next song came because he has the words of life. They came from all the four winds. They came because they were fallen and down. They came because he rose again. They came to see what must be shown. They came because they could see within. They came because they were being gathered up that his threshing floor may be filled that the grapes in his wine press may be trodden down they came so that they may join in and they came to escape from the violent sound and to learn to be silent Of the multitude has the mighty peals of thunder to sound. The fourfold hallelujah resounds. Thanks everyone for listening. Check the description box below for links to this project and other projects from Greg Johnson and Friends. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss an episode. 